Welcome to another edition of Dan Factoids. In this edition we have a diver asking us about atrial fibrillation and diving. So what they're saying is that the upper part of the heart has had unsynchronized uh, beating or contraction if you like and they have subsequently had what is called a cardiac ablation which literally means in very simplistic terms that they use a catheter and actually use almost like microwave signals and burn certain uh, electrical pathways in the heart in order to prevent the uh, electrical current to run through those areas. Now since they've had the procedure the heart's rhythm has returned to normal. Is it possible for them to return to diving now? Well the question of now depends very much upon then and what I mean by that is depending on when the procedure was done and whether or not the heart has proven itself to maintain an adequate rhythm which usually is checked for at least three to six months and there may be uh, additional medication considerations that one might also need to weigh into this it may or may not be possible to continue diving. Also there are a number of divers who dive with atrial fibrillation and the reason why they're able to do so is because the atria add about 20 to 30 percent of the effectiveness of the heart to pump blood. Meaning that if individuals have healthy hearts otherwise they are able to cope with atrial fibrillation. The two dangers are if atrial fibrillation uh, is uh, an additional manifestation of ischemic heart disease well then that is the bigger issue in other words the person is then at risk for uh, having a heart attack or if the atria are enlarged they can have blood clots and blood clots that are released can give the uh, risk of an additional uh, of a stroke and lastly of course if the atrial fibrillation precipitates uh, ventricular fibrillation which is then a malfunction of the ventricles that would be fatal. So it's not a simple yes or no answer as many of these questions are but the principles I would encourage you to apply is one make sure that the heart has had a long enough track record of normal function after the ablation to now show that it is unlikely to have or go back into atrial fibrillation. Two, when you go back diving, first do it in a pool because remember, once you're just immersed in water, there is a sudden 30% additional loading on the heart and that may precipitate atrial fibrillation in and of itself, particularly if you don't know whether your heart is able to handle it or not. And thirdly, if there's medication involved, one needs to consider whether or not the medication is appropriate for diving. Thank you for that fascinating question. And uh, until next time, safe diving.